Hi guys, Frostfang So and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. And as you can see by the top of the screen here, we're on 2.06, or whatever it's meant to be, the new patch. IO is the new champion that will be coming this patch. She's on PTS now, she'll probably be on PTS um, for about a month, and then she'll end up going on to live. But she is here, they haven't actually marked her as the new champion in this screen. This will all obviously be fixed by the time um, she goes out, I'll hope. And she's also got some um, bug stuff going on here with her abilities. She's a support character. She's got 2200 health she is labeled as the shattered goddess she currently has four skins she has a limited one which i think you get from the season pass which actually looks um pretty cool this is default io she actually looks really kind of nice here as well with the purple but they seem to have put a lot more time into a recolor than they do in most recolors and i hope they keep going with this as a trend because um this looks really really good it actually kind of looks more like a skin than it does a recolor and you can get it for just gold and then you have the mastery one which also looks really really cool i like the black and gold aesthetic more than the all gold aesthetic that they've done with some of the new ones like Leanne's gold one that they added is just all gold. I think in general more people probably like this, but I prefer the ones that have got a little bit more black on them than this. The more black and gold than just the gold with like a tiny bit of black. There's a bunch of skins and a battle pass which we're not going through um, now. I'll go through that over the course of the coverage that I'm going to do on the PTS, but we're going to be playing just IO today. We'll go through her kit first, then we'll go through her talents. She's got a light bow which deals 400 damage every 0.6. Very, very similar damage to Damba. Um, I think it's actually less than Damba because it doesn't have any drop off. So if you hit somebody right at the end of it, I'm pretty sure it still deals 400, but I could be wrong with that. Uh, she's then got a heal, Moonlight, which is labeled here as E when it's not. It's her right click. And the easiest way for me to explain this is that it's just basically like a rechargeable Ceres heal because you hold and channel it into somebody and you heal them for 135 every 0 0.15 seconds, which is a pretty decent heal. And then it regens when it's not in use and you can switch targets midway through the heal and stuff. I think it does have quite a limited range, but we'll have to take a look at that now in the, the target practice. If you're wondering when my voice sounds weird, I just woke up and I wanted to make sure I actually get a video out on the PTS because if I don't do it now, it'll be down in like an hour and I'll end up missing it. But we got Luna Leap, which is her F. It's basically just a quick leap backwards that kind of throws you in the air a little bit, and it also um, has the ability to reduce how fast you fall because you've got cards um, that can change that. It's it's basically your escape option. Every support usually has one. Then you have Guard Spirit, which is your actual little deployable character, Luna. She'll be fighting alongside you, literally how they word it here, and then she'll rush and stun enemies that you've marked with your bow. So she doesn't do anything on her own unless you pick a talent to combo with it, but if you do hit people with your bow, um, she will go and stun them, but that can only be done every 15 seconds, which is a really really long time and she can also um, be resummoned to a new location every eight so as far as I know she doesn't roam I don't know exactly how it works because I haven't tried it yet I don't want to do too much explaining here because I actually haven't tried it yet so I don't know how this is going to work and you have I mean ultimate which sounds like this pretty much in line with all of the other ones in the game. You basically project an ethereal manifestation of Luna, so this is somehow linked to your ultimate. It would be cool if there was a way that you could combo them together, but I don't think there is. And the way it works is you basically catch and pull them and push them um, along like a travel path where you throw it, and then it, they take 800 damage whenever they hit a wall, and if they don't hit a wall, um, they just keep going. So if you like do it on the end of a map, they'll just keep going until they fall off the map and hit the wall at the end of the map, and then they'll die that way. Either that or you just stack a couple people together, and then you push them back and they hit a wall. As far as I know, they can still use everything in their kit but I'm gonna have to wait and see again till we jump into a game it's really hard to judge stuff on the PTS because so few people are able to play the PTS obviously it's a much smaller player base but you got lifelink as her talent the first one it basically means that when you throw your Q down she actually heals now your little Luna actually does something other than stun people she now heals uh, it's a 300 health a second which actually isn't that crazy it's less than a grok heal by a pretty significant amount it is about on par with a damber gourd it's literally the same as a damber gourd so that's the way to think about it really. I don't think the radius on it is all that large and you can't buff it out with cards. You then have Goddess Blessing, um, which basically means when you're healing somebody with your right click, which is regenerable, um, you also give them 15% damage reduction. There's also a card that lets you give speed. I'll go through those in a little sec. And you have her last one, which is Sacrifice, which means if you go below 200 health whilst you've got your little Luna active and you've thrown her out and you've used your Q, um, you trade places, she heals you, and then you know your little Luna dies, which is kind of sad. It's, it's basically like Grok's old one, which I actually completely forget that it isn't even in the game anymore. But basically, instead of dying, you you trade places with your little character, and if you don't have them out, as far as I know, it doesn't activate. It has a massive internal cooldown of um, 60 seconds. It's like Grok's one. I think it was called Wraith. I can't really remember. I got two different loadouts here that I think might be kind of fun. This one has Skywalker and Moonwalk, which basically lower your gravity and increase your air control by 60% when you heal and when you're using your bow. You can't come on them together, though. I don't think you can actually heal and deal damage at the same time. You have to pick one. We have Lunar Connection in there, which reduces the cooldown of Luna's initial deploy by six seconds. Increase the range that you can actually deploy Luna by 80%, and then the one that resets um, 
your escape below a certain health percentage, very similar to the one uh, Cassie has. Cassie has got a significant nerf um, this patch. Then we have another one which is completely different, which is based around a heal a lot more. We have a gardener that regens it whenever we're not using it by 5%, that's max level. We also have one that means that when we heal with Moonlight, it reduces the cooldown of Luna. Uh, it also buffs out their speed, the same reset card in there, and then the same lower gravity card. It's kind of hard to build loadouts with her. If you want to see all of her cards and you haven't checked them on the patch notes thing, just go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead and queue. It doesn't seem like it's actually letting me go into the suiting range, though. I'm just trying to enter it now, and it doesn't seem like it's actually letting me go into it. So this is what I mean. The PTS is not in its best state currently. Well, I relogged, and it just seems like nothing is open. You can't queue there. It just lets you know the queue isn't open. Can't do any of these. None of them work. So my only option is going to be trying to get into a custom game. It will legit not let me join any of the custom games. Even though I'm hitting refresh and they're still here, it just doesn't work. Maybe I should try and make my own. I guess I can just technically make my own game with a bot. Will this work? Will this actually let me um, jump into a game? Because I don't really care if it's the target practice or arena or here it shouldn't make a huge difference so it looks like i might be able to actually just do this yeah sure okay i guess this is the weird ass way i'm gonna have to um show you io there you go you actually get to see her sure i guess this is the only way i'm gonna be able to show you io for today because the pts again is not in its best state she looks really really cool when i saw her on the patch note show i was a little bit underwhelmed but seeing her actually in game is completely different she looks absolutely sick all right i realize this makes way more sense instead of making it a 1v1 i'll just make it a 3v3 with bots and then i can actually show you what it's like um to heal people will do bizarre again sure but this way i can actually show you and um, what it's like to do healing and stuff and i don't want to make it like an open match because if i do and then somebody's probably just gonna nab io for me and i want to make sure i can actually show her off for you guys i guess this is basically the same as target practice we'll go ahead and grab lifelink and then this i just want to see what it's like to actually i'm um, kind of fire and stuff because as far as i know it deals like a flat 400 no matter what range um, you're hitting them at but obviously it's going to have a cap that's her little reload for you not anything fancy there it is kind of similar to Ceres's in the way that you do have to be kind of accurate to actually pick your target but once you pick your target as long as you're kind of just looking at their general direction it will continue to heal them but if you move too far off it will just go ahead and unlink as you can see her backflip isn't that crazy it doesn't throw you into third person either we'll just dismount and i'll show you some of the stuff we can go ahead and deploy little luna here as far as i know she actually doesn't move so the only time luna moves is when she's attacking somebody and that you've marked so that they can stun it's got a pretty decent health bar and then i i guess it will just stand here healing people Luna's really, really detailed, kind of creepily so, actually. I don't know why Luna um, looks so good. Actually kind of looks scary. I, I don't know. Is this creepy? That looks a little bit creepy to me, but that that's just me. And I think she just stays up until she's killed or until you reposition her. I'm guessing it's a her. It could be a he. I have no clue. So you have eight seconds in between repositioning, and we're reducing the cooldown of the initial time um, to throw her out so if she gets eliminated. It's actually kind of cool. I kind of like this, the fact that you can kind of just throw it down a bit like a totem. It's got a way, way bigger range than I thought it was going to have. I thought the range for um, little Luna over here would be significantly small. I'll show you the backflip. There you go. Nothing uh, too crazy, but pretty decent. Does throw you in that direction. I like the fact that it doesn't force you into third person. I don't think there's a way to reduce the cooldown of the reposition. You can just reduce the cooldown of the initial um, cast when you throw out. Can we get her to stun somebody? Go, Luna. Stun this Ying. Do it, please. Luna, there you go. You can see who she actually is going to go for. That's kind of cool. There we go. Lovely little triple. You can just throw the little heal out whenever you feel like it. I actually kind of like her playstyle. I think it's going to suit me um, quite well. Going to be very, very interesting to see what she's like actually in a game because she's probably going to perform incredibly well. You see the little wolf icon in the bottom left. Oh, I can actually heal. I can actually heal Luna as well with my right click. I didn't know that. I don't know if they showed that off in the patch notes and I missed it, or if that was a thing they didn't show off. But it looks like she's also just dealing consistent damage at people. Yeah, she's actually throwing out damage. Luna doesn't just stand there doing nothing. She's actually throwing out damage to the people for like 180. That isn't listed anywhere in her kit, as far as I can tell. Yeah, no, that's not listed anywhere in her kit. If you throw Luna down, she actually starts throwing stuff out at people, even if you've not marked them. That isn't mentioned anywhere, and that's something that I just found out right now. But even even when they're like quite out of range, she seems like she's throwing out shots here, which is um, kind of cool. Also love the fact that I'm able to heal. I think that's fantastic. There we go. Defense successful. The range on your heals, I'm pretty decent. There, Willow just ulted. It seems like there's a lot of intricacies to the way Io and Luna work together that aren't really listed anywhere because it doesn't mention in her kit that Luna actually deals damage on her own. Whereas if you throw over here, she's just kind of throwing pot shots for like 180 towards wherever the enemies are, which is great. You can actually heal her, which isn't mentioned anywhere, so I didn't know that. She is incredibly detailed as well, which is something that I wasn't expecting. She looks absolutely ridiculously detailed. 
detail, genuinely, it's kind of creepy a little bit. So I haven't tried the old art, we'll do that in a little second, but there is a little twirl animation on that F, which is kind of cool. She, in general, feels really, really smooth, and I'm liking it. In general, both of them right now actually seem really, really way better than I was expecting them to be, because I think I was just underestimating them when I saw them in the patch notes show. I just want to try out the alt now. Let's go ahead and use the E. I don't know what it's going to do with shields, so let's find out. There we go. Oh, it goes straight through shields and just throws them back. Sick. It does seem like Luna does heal me, but I'm in Willow's dead zone. As you can see, look, she's just throwing out damage for like 180. That isn't listed anywhere. She just does it, which is um, kind of cool. We can just reposition her over there to be a little bit more aggressive, and I can heal her up, which is great. Range on my heal is actually pretty good. I need to check out the range on my heal. How big is it? So I can still heal from all the way over here. Wait, is there a range cap on my heal, or is it just crazy? Oh, it's about here. Okay, bigger than I was expecting it. I was expecting it to be quite a bit shorter. Most maps have situations where you're going to be within this range of most of your teammates. Io um, does actually have a pretty big range from when she goes to stun somebody as well, because she was just trying to get rid of that willow. I'm overall pretty damn impressed. I was expecting this to be significantly worse than it is. I think understandably so as well, just because of how much of this isn't listed anywhere um, in her kit or anything. And I'm also just terrible at paying attention to like the patch notes show because, you know, I'm professional. Obviously, the real tell is going to be when she actually goes into live and seeing how people um, use it because you are countered by Bulldozer. Obviously, if somebody goes ahead and grabs Bulldozer, they're going to get rid of your Luna significantly quicker. But I feel like she's also got a lot of loadout options. But if I go ahead and use my F here, I should be able to float a bit more if I right click. Yeah, I can. And that makes me go flying because I'm reducing like my gravity and increasing my air control and stuff. Let's go ahead and heal up. It looks like she also self heals, which is another thing that I, I didn't know. I'm going ahead and marked this Ying. Go and stun her. There we go. Nice. The stun I don't think deals very much damage, but the fact that she's just kind of throwing out consistent 180 is kind of crazy. The fact that she's just kind of throwing out consistent 180 is what makes her kind of crazy and also, it's only 8 seconds until you can reposition her and you can heal her, and she just basically acts like a little turret that also heals and that also has like a really big health bar. It's so hard for me to explain how this heals right now. Just from this short test with this is definitely going to be one that you're going to have to check out for yourself because this is um, completely different to what I was expecting it to be when I looked at it on paper. Let's go ahead and keep healing our little gal over here. We can just throw her in and be super aggressive with it. Can we mark this Willow? Go stun. Io, go for it. I'm Io. That's Luna. I, I have no idea how many times I'm going to get that mixed up when I actually play this character. Obviously, this is a bot match. That's a bad example, but it's still kind of fun to run around and actually throw out heals and stuff. It also looks like the bow's color has changed. It's green now. I think that's probably because my ult's up. I really like that they have that with some of the characters, and it looks like Io has that too. When your ult is ready, your bow seems to turn green. I'm guessing that's what it is because with Andro's revolver, it starts to like glow and stuff, so I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. I think I was probably a little bit dismissive of Io and Luna, but actually just trying them out in a game has made me incredibly excited to actually see what they're like um, in live, and hopefully they fix the PTS soon and all of the cues and stuff um, actually work, because I can't even get into target practice. The only thing I can get into um, is a custom game. The only thing you can actually get into on the PTS right now is custom games. Let's go ahead and use the ult. Again, love the fact that it goes through shields. I think that's um, really cool. I did use it pretty badly there, but we did get to push Ying kind of far away. Let's get some hits on you. Go on, Luna. Go for the stun, fam. I don't think she can stun through walls, which makes sense. Can we mark this Ying to get stunned? There we go. Luna, go in, fam. There we go. She actually didn't do too bad. Just kind of throwing out consistent four hundos. Not too bad. We can F over and then lower our gravity and stuff to get into a nice position. I'm not playing that well, but it doesn't really matter. We're playing on bots here. I'm interested to see what happens when she dies, but she actually like self heals and stuff, which I also didn't know was a thing. They don't really list that much in her character section, but um, she does actually self heal. So if you leave her on her own and you've just finished the team fight, you don't even have to heal her because she goes ahead and puts her own health back up. It's also just the fact that the radius is so much larger than I thought it was going to be, but I am having a bit of a bug now. I can't mark the ash, it seems like. I can mark um, the ying and also the willow, but for some reason I can't mark the ash. Don't know what that is. I can F backwards and then heal on you, and I can kind of get to like way bigger positions than I thought I was going to be able to get to. There's the, the victory. <laughs> what a game. So many things there that I wouldn't have learned if we didn't try out in an actual match because of the fact that some of those things wouldn't have shown off very well in the target practice, but I, I guess I have top play, which we're going to have to watch, even though that was literally um, a bot match. It is me killing the ash. It is me um, then getting rid of a T-posing Ying. She's just asserting her dominance there. What a, what a weird match. Kind of went in a completely different direction than I was expecting it to go, and I do want to keep this video kind of short because I want to play her in actual games sometime soon in the future. If the PTS is fixed tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow. If not, I've still got some other stuff here that I can cover on like the bot matches and stuff if it's not fixed. So overall, just to summarize, I am rather impressed by Io. I, uh, she's exceeded my expectations. I was expecting her to work um, quite differently than she actually did just because of how it's all worded here. Didn't really get a chance to try out Goddess's Blessing or Sacrifice. I feel like Lifelink is going to be the strongest talent by quite a bit unless you're going against a ton of Quarter Eyes, in which case you're going to want to go ahead and grab this one for the damage reduction. Although that was kind of interesting, again, because of the way that I thought she was going to work, this would have made way, way more sense, but the way that she actually works means that a lot of 
this is unnecessary. After trying her out in that game really, really quickly, I don't feel like both of these loadouts make that much sense because of how differently she works, and I thought she was going to, so I'll have to um, go over that again sometime soon, but if you want to see her cards, there you go. So yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, of course. Let me know, obviously, what you want to see me do next. Let me know your thoughts on Io in the comment section down below, because she's completely different to how I originally thought she was going to be. And yeah, as always, stay frosty.